Hey there, David Risley here with davidrisley.com, and today I'm answering a question. This one's from Melissa Patrie, I hope I'm saying your, your name right, uh, from wvreviews.com. Now, she had submitted a question because she saw these videos over on howcast.com, because these flip tips are posted on a lot of different sites. Now, I embed them here uh, on this site from Vimeo, but uh, they're on a lot of different sites. But she asked, um, I would love to learn how to make money online without getting ripped off. Is there any real way to make money without having to spend money and be able to do it all online? All right, so, um, Melissa, I actually last week posted a, uh, a post to davidrisley.com where I talked about the, the how you need to kind of beware of free content. Now, and I said in that post that the people that have actually started to make money online and they're actually finding some success on the internet, they will come back and tell you uh, that, that that idea of trying to find everything for free is actually a mistake. Uh, and I, I stand by that wholeheartedly. I, I have gotten a lot of free content in my time. I've read a lot of free reports. A lot of times people put out free reports as a way of getting me on their mailing list, which is perfectly fine. Uh, and a lot of them, at least the good ones, are pretty useful. However, the thing is, none of them connect dots. And that's the thing. You're not going to find, uh, you know, a golden platter for nothing. So in order to find good, solid information, that not only that connects the dots and will, and will actually serve as a roadmap for you to, to get to the point where you find success without spinning your wheels too much, those things do cost some money. So the idea of, is there a real way to make money without having to spend money, if you want to reinvent the wheel, of course. Um, however, if you want to to speed up the process and learn from the mistakes of other people and learn some tactics ahead of time in order to get to that point of success faster, then I would not go into it trying to look for things that are free. You, it, in general, it does cost money to make money, and if you're if you're avoiding at all costs the idea of buying anything, then chances are you're putting a humongous roadblock in, into your path of success. So, um, and as far as the idea of getting ripped off, uh, yes, there are um, a lot. Uh, this idea of making money online is a humongous market. Admittedly, that's true. Uh, there's a lot of copycats. There's people that really know what they're doing, and then there's a lot of people that are copying the people that really know what they're doing in order to try to be a me too. And the way that I usually tell the difference is have they actually, do they have a track record of having applied the knowledge that they say to something outside of the making money online market? <clears throat> um, for example, one, a very well-known internet marketer is Frank Kern. Frank Kern has made quite a bit of money in the market of dog training. And, you know, that right there is a completely different market. Um, and, you know, in my own case, I, I, if I were looking at myself, I happen to have made most of my money blogging in the realm of technology. So, I, you know, only recently have I been talking about the idea of how to make money doing this because I'd been doing it for years prior in a completely different market. So, if, if, as far as the idea of getting ripped off, if you're looking into a particular product to potentially buy, see what you can find about the author of that product, find out what their background is, and find out if they've ever applied any of this material to something other than the idea of making money online. Because the thing about making money online is there are people that will buy the product. Um, you know, and the thing is, is you need to, it's a little hard to judge the, the, the success of somebody if everything they've ever done has been in the making money online market. So uh, that's how I would generally avoid getting ripped off. And the other thing is, you know, if you're that worried about it, put it on a credit card or something. And if it ends up being a piece of crap, just dispute it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, Melissa. Don't avoid... Uh, stuff that is charged money because generally that can be a, a problem for your success and you know in my case like I said in my article um, you can either try to reinvent fire or you can just buy somebody else's lighter and you know that's really what it comes down to so hopefully I help Melissa again Melissa Petrie at wvreviews.com check it out guys and I will see you guys tomorrow